We are assembled here this morning to present the 2014 Team to the 43rd Carifta Games in Fort de France, Martinique, over the Easter weekend. In arriving at today, the athletes who have made this team and their respective coaches must be congratulated for the work they have done since conditioning began in 2013. While it's easy to look at the athletes and the fine work the coaches have done in preparing our athletes for this mission, it's also important to thank the, all the officials who volunteered during the development series that began on January 10th, those setting up the field, pulling tape, measuring and raking pits, recording, reading wind gauges, reading wind gauges raising flags, and the team from the Department of information technology, and we can't forget the fans who came out, all contributed in different ways to ensuring that your marks were accurately recorded. You could have performed and no one interpreted your performances, and for this we thanked the media. At the end of your races, you had refreshments to replenish you, and thanks to Rotan Wholesale and MB's Ice. Carifta athletes, please give all those folks a hand. Before I introduce the athletes, allow me to give a brief mathematical synopsis of the 2014 Carifta Games team, which is the most diverse team we have ever sent to these regional junior championships in our history of participation, which dates back to 1976. We thank the Minister of Sport, Honorable Myron Walwyn, and the BVI Olympic Committee for their support. Over the last four years, we have seen our athletes compete at the Carifton Games every day of the competition. This year will be no different. We have a total of 21 to 22 athletes, 16 athletes in under 18 division, 16 who have recorded personal best this season, 16 in multiple events. We will compete in 14 disciplines at the Carifta Games. We have 11 girls on the teams, seven athletes in six field events, six debutants, five past individual Carifta Games medalists, four in the shot put, and I think this is the first we have in that. We have two long and triple jumpers, and for the first time, we have a boy and girl in the same championships at these events. We also have two 2013 CAC age group championship participants who have made the cut, two athletes registered to contest the 400 meter intermediate hurdles, and these will be our first athlete to, comp to compete, and especially in the male at the Carifta Games at these events. And we have two under 18 athletes in every track and field event from the 100 to 800 meters. So before I sit, allow me to introduce the 2014 Carifta Game athletes who will make us proud as they compete at their regional counterparts. Now let me see, let, let me start way over in the back. Kyron McMaster. Um, please give Kyron a hand, I understand he's going to be jumping in the hurdles and he will be the first athlete ever from the BVI to run the hurdles at Carifta Games. Okay, Tariq Twitty Moses, four and eight hundred meters. Ashley Penn, long jump. I, I, they are twins, so I need to figure out which one it is. Trevia Gums, and um. Trevia has won a medal at Carifta before, but she's established a shot put record this year. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Judine Lacey, if you remember, the BVI got a silver medal last year. She anchored the relay, and she's expected to contribute there. Altisha Bella Foy. She's going to run the 100 and 200 meters. Zakaria Zeki-Fret. 
she is going to contribute on the relay. Ariana Hayde. She is going to be the most busiest athlete at the Carifta Games as she will be competing in the heptathlon comprised of seven events. Akeem Bratcher in the long and triple jump. Tenel Gums will be the most active field participant in the shot put, discus, and javelin throw. Tarika Tinkerbell Moses. I think she might understand she's attempting at 800 meters this year. Beyonce De Freitas. And she was, she's one of the members along with Ariana Haid who were on the CACH group team. The Koya Hodge in the shot put. We've got Kadian Potter. He will contest the shot put. Kayla Penn in the shot put and the long and triple jump. I will change in your event. Ronnie Todman in the two and four hundred meters. And uh, the head coach, Mr. Winston Potter. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Greenaway. Let me at this time acknowledge Ms. Carol Smith. She's a new addition to our executive body. She's the marketing director, Ms. Carol Smith. At this time, I will call Honorable Myron Walwyn to the podium to make his remarks. Thank you very much, Madam Chairperson. You did a very good job at establishing the protocol, so I will dispense with it and I'll adopt it as you rightly stated it. But what I'll ask for us to do before I get into my remarks is to ask us to give a round of applause to the coaches. I'll tell you why. Not just the coaches, but also the people who are involved in sports around the territory, track and field, the, the Department of, of Information Technology, the various coaches, the General Secretary works very hard. And all these people do this of their own free will, without pay, just for the development of sports and for the love for their country. I hope one day, while I'm minister, that we'll be able to pay the coaches. I hope we can do that, and we endeavor to try our best to do that, but I want you to give them a round of applause for the work that they're doing. Because we, we are seeing, not just in the BVI, but in the world now, that unless you're talking dollars, people don't move. And it's very good that we still have people here who are making these contributions, serious contributions, to the development of the country without money being involved. This year marks the 38th time that our territory will be represented at one of the world's premier junior championships that began in Barbados in 1972. Our team represents some of the finest junior athletes in the region, and I believe the experience of our team members will see a few medals coming home to the territory. From what I've been able to glean, our athletes will be extremely busy at this year's Carifta Games. I'm told that they will compete in 14 disciplines in the under 18 division and four in the under 20 disciplines. Throughout all three days of the Easter weekend meet, our athletes will be in action down to the under 18 girls 4x400 melee relay, where our 2013 silver medal team is expected to challenge Jamaica for the gold. Give them some encouragement ahead of that. This year's teams includes athletes who have won individual character game medals and have also been finalists. Nelda Huggins, who helped let some house to its first Elmo Stout Inter House Championships in 21 years, is a three time under 17 girls 100 medalist and has also been a 200 meter finalist and contributed to the 4x100 relay race last year. Give her a round of applause, even though she's not here. Terika Tinkerbell Moses won the 400 meter silver last year, and we understand she is likely to impress in the 800 meter race this year. 
Lakeisha Mimiwana will be joining the team from North Carolina and is a two-time 800-meter bronze medalist. 2013 Emerging Fellows, Twin Sisters, Trivia and Tennell Gums in the shot put, Discus Throw and Javelin Throw have also successfully medaled at Carifta Games and are expected to be impressive on the field. Give them a round of applause, please. I'm particularly pleased to learn that there are six newcomers to this team among the seasoned Carry the Game veterans, finalists, and medalists. The 2013 and 2014 Elmo Stout High School Victor Lodorium from Carlisle House and Akeem Bradshaw. <laughs> Improving shot poor Decoya Hodge and 2013 CAC age group individual bronze medalist Beyonce De Freitas and her teammate Ariana Hayde Ronique Todman and Zachary Fred. Give them a round of applause, please. I'm also happy to note that over the recently concluded developmental series, 16 of our character game team members established personal best marks in athletes. And athletes, you should be highly commended on this achievement, and we're looking forward to those results being reflected in the upcoming competition. We're also very proud of the versatility of Kyron McMaster. I had a chance to get to know Kyron when he accompanied me as one of my youth guests at last year's National Prayer Breakfast. Last week I saw him run a brilliant second leg on the Letsom House 4x200 meter relay team that contributed valuable points to the team's victory. At the games, he will be tackling the 400 meter intermediate hurdles, the first Virgin Island athlete to do so. Give him a round of applause, please. Karen, I have properly been advised on your development. I've been monitoring your progress myself, and I'm very impressed with your potential. Our girls have had much success regionally and internationally, and though we do not want to put pressure, too much pressure on the boys, our hopes are that you will lead, the, Karen, that you will lead the other young men on this team to victory for the Virgin Islands. At least, I encourage you to let the history of the development of the Carifta Games inspire your life. Started in 1972 to support the transition in the region from the Car Caribbean Free Trade Association to the Caribbean community. These games have nurtured into one of the finest athletic competitions, not just in the Caribbean, but indeed in the world. It is out of the Carifta that as many, as, that as Caribbean people, we recognize the talents of Usain Bolt, Karani James, Veronica Campbell, Debbie Ferguson, and many other Caribbean athletes. To the Carifta Games, these athletes have brought much credibility and attention to our athletic capacity as Caribbean citizens. Athletes, this is the opportunity for you to also bring pride and honor to yourselves, your family, the Virgin Islands, and the community. A few days ago, the Ministry of Education and Culture announced the Virgin Islands Emerging Fellow Awards. Through this program, Young people of exceptional promise in the arts, music, and sports have the opportunity to receive funding to further training in their discipline. The 2014 wrong has gone, but I'm taking every opportunity to remind our young people, parents, and coaches of the program. Carifta athletes such as Jamal Alexander, Mimi Warner, and the Gum Sisters have been past fellows, and I want to encourage athletes that are present today to consider applying for the fellowship when applications for the 2015 grants become available in November. I've already asked that the budget for the initiative be increased from 50,000 to 75,000 because it is my hope that even more of our young people can have opportunities to refine their talents and prepare themselves to reach their highest expectations. Last year, the government collaborated with the Olympic Committee to develop an elite athlete award program where athletes who maintain a top 50 international or world ranking place for their event will be granted monetary support for maintenance and training in the sum of $24,000 per year. So young athletes, I want you to know from now that if you decide to become professional athletes, your government is putting appropriate policies in place to support your ambitions as we seek to represent the Virgin Islands on the world athletic stage. Our government continues to find opportunities to support the goals and ambitions of our youth. And through the Emerging Fellows and the Elite Athlete Initiative, we anticipate much success. With the amount of talent that I see here today, I know it will not be long before we welcome home an Olympic medalist. 
But first, I encourage you athletes, parents, and coaches to realize each and every opportunity to advance the aspirations of our young people. You can learn more about the Emerging Fellows Initiative for Mrs. Lorna Stevens in the Ministry of Education and Culture. Athletes, thanks to today's technology, right here at home, we will have up to the minute progress reports on your performance. That is not to add any additional pressure, but it's to let you know that as a community, we continue to be with you, we continue to support you, we are excited about you, and we want you to make us proud. I'll be looking forward to a successful 2014 Carifter Games for the team Virgin Islands, and as a community, we'll continue to pray for all of you. Thank you, and may God continue to bless you. This time, thank you, Honorable Walwin. At this time, let me call Mr. Cleve Farrington to the podium. He's going to make remarks on behalf of Mr. Ephraim Penn, President of the BVIOC. Um, good morning to one and all. I'd like to acknowledge the protocol that have already been established. I would like to obviously speak on behalf of the President and the Executive Body of the BVI Olympic Committee. And I want to wish all athletes that will be taking part in the Carifta Games in Martinique all success. I was fortunate um, last year at Bahamas, uh, where the Carifta Games were held, to witness Tariq Moses, Tariq Tarika Moses, um, the Gum Sisters, um, Judy and Lacey, Latisha, Foy, um, Kyron, and just to name a few who have obviously taken part and, and made us very proud in terms of at achieving their goals. I know this year, obviously, for where some of you at least have short fault in Bahamas, obviously you've prepared even more now to get ready for Matnik. And I wish every one of you success, um, access. Oh, success, sorry. I would like to, at this point of time, acknowledge the administrators that have obviously been um, integral in helping the athletes prepare for the Carifta Games. Foremost, the coaches, the secretary, the persons that obviously record in terms of times, the field agents as well, and of course, obviously, the parents. As each athlete prepare for the character games, I'd like to obviously say from the Olympic Committee, it will be a qualifying mark for those athletes competing for the Youth Olympic Games, which will be held in Nanjing, China, as well as uh, upcoming Commonwealth Games that will be held in Scotland, Glasgow, Scotland, and or CSE Games that will be held in Veracruz, Mexico this year. Next year, we will be having games, the Commonwealth Youth Games in Samoa 2015, as well as the Toronto Pan American Olympic Games. And of course, 2016, I aspire all of you athletes to be, get ready for the Olympic Games, which will be held in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. As stated before, I'd like to thank all that have of all of you athletes that have been prepared, and to your coaches, I wish you success on behalf of Mr. Ephraim Penn, his executive body, and staff for success, Carefter Games 2014. I thank you. At this time, I would like to call Mr. Doug Samuel, Chief Coach, to the podium to make his remarks protocol already established. My French goes as far as this. Comment ça va? Merci beaucoup. That is the end of the French lesson. As chief coach, first of all, I have to thank my coaches, and I think they need a round of applause for the hard work and dedication that they have put into these athletes in getting them prepared for the character games, Matnique. <clears throat> Secondly, a great round of applause for these 21 athletes that have made that team to the character games again in Martinique. I would like the athletes to know that this is just the beginning. You have until August of competitions, 
and therefore you, you cannot afford to drop your guard and thinking, well, after Carifta, that is it. Some of you will be aspiring for the World Youth um, Olympics, which will be in, in, in China this year. Of course, it is very, very difficult knowing that you have to go to the Carifta Games and you have to be the top athlete in order to go to the Games. Therefore, the British Virgin Islands will be represented by at least four of you. Am I correct in saying that? Apparently not. You don't want to go to China. And I'm still getting no answer. Which means we'll have to see what happens if there's a miracle after that then. Um, Mr. Guinebay um, forgot to mention five of our allies that's, that's not here. Mr. Taj Malone, who was here for the weekend, had to go back to school. He'll be leading the, the, the team in the high jump. Dare Erickson, which will be competing in both 100 meters and 400 meter hurdles. <laughs> Kerry Creaky, I think it's um, one of, Kerry Herbert, sorry, which is one of our two male under 20 athletes, which will be running the 400 meters. <laughs> of course, we mentioned um, Mimi, Lakisha Wana, and not here with us, not here with us, I think is one of the, the backbone of the team, Nelda Huggins. Hopefully she will, I hope she shows up before we leave. This team, 21, 22 athletes, meets our expectation from last year where we had 21 athletes. I was thinking that we won't have 15, but you proved me wrong. And I hope just as you proved me wrong, then you will step up to the plate and do a performance of your life at the character Games, knowing that we are not only the smallest country in the character, but we are always the smallest country wherever we go. We are the smallest country in the world that represents the World Championships, Olympic Games, character Games, or any games. We are always the smallest country. And we showed them last year, didn't we? We showed them that small country has nothing to do with your abilities. And therefore, I urge you to go to Matnik, put your best foot forward, work hard, and bring back that medal. What we have done for the at least this year, for, for the, um, this week, for two weeks actually, we have training sessions, sometimes twice a day, to get them prepared. We have workshops that will help them in, in meeting people, in speaking to others, and not being shy and, and running in a corner and hiding. We, uh, we have all of these things prepared for them. And I hope that they will take advantage of all of these things that are given so that when they go and represent the British Virgin Islands, they will be true ambassadors to the British Virgin Islands. The team leaves on the 17th of April and they return on the 22nd of April. And I hope we leave with our, uh, with our hands empty but I hope that we return with our hands dangling with gold, silver, and bronze. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you, Mr. Samuel. I was there signaling to him to let him know that he forgot one athlete, Miss Taylor Hale, who will be competing in the 100 and the 200 meters. Accompanying this team, will be Mr. Steve Augustine as team manager and assistant coach. <laughs> Mr. Winston Potter, head coach. <laughs> Mr. Omar Jones, assistant coach. <laughs> Ms. Bianca Dugan, assistant coach. <laughs> Ms. Candice Wells, physiotherapist. Ms. Elizabeth Hooper, massage therapist. The delegates will be Mr. Dag Samuel and Mr. Dean H. Greenaway. I will also be accompanying the team as assistant team manager and chaperone. At this time, I would like to thank everyone for coming out and I would like to say heartfelt congratulations to you, the athletes and coaches who have worked so hard.
Oh, 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 oh,